Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, figured I'd do this just in case some, in case some of the manufacturers that take all of our money that we work hard for might watch this and update their uh, their parts a little bit. Take it easy on the uh, the work of folks that actually use the panels. So I got a floor pan for this car, and I thought it was made by golden star the sticker said dana corn i think all the stuff comes from either golden star or real deal steel stuff like that but what i discovered i've been out here since 10 o'clock this morning i went through and um cleaned everything that was good on that car to where i could get the floor up in it uh and had some people over to where they helped me Picked the floor up and we nursed it down in there. But before I before I even decided to do it, I knew that I had a problem, um, and I don't even know why I, I I moved forward with the project. But if you look up a '55 to '57 Chevy convertible one piece floor, they're not selling you the right part. Okay, they're just flat out not selling you the right part. So if you've got a floor pan, you need to go out there. Unless you've already been through this misery, you need to go out there and you need to look at your floor pan so you know what to expect, okay? Basically what they're doing is selling a, a hard top floor pan and welding a couple more brackets on it. And that, that's not going to fly, guys. So if you're in charge of the manufacturing, do us all a favor that are actually working on the cars and fix the problem. Don't continue to just screw people because that's all it is. So let's let's go over what's happening here. So, you can see the old convertible's sitting up like it's got a K5 Blazer chassis underneath of it, okay? You know, it's it's high, high up. And I've already had the floor all the way in there where it was supposed to be. But once it once it got down on the where it was supposed to be, it kind of did a number like this. It wouldn't go all the way down. It was sitting dead on the center of the X. So... So now I got stuff scattered everywhere. Got stuff out here. So let's go over what's happening here. But I was able to, it's kind of looking a little bit different in the light right now. It's kind of looking like a like a pinkish color. But that color right there is pretty close to the original red oxide that uh that they used on the cars new. Because here's the panel out of it. This part right here. And you can see where I sprayed on it. It's it's real close. So I had... I had my floor looking good, you know. No dirt in it. No runs. We was, we was getting ready to build us a sweet convertible. But... Earlier today... I got to looking... At this area right in through here and I'm like you know what I told my wife I'll be back because I have my original floor pans that I took out down at my work I told her I'll be back I said I don't think something's right here uh, and I, I did research all day long and it was saying that this was the floor pan for a convertible okay this is your 55 to 57 Chevy convertible floor pan well here's the problem this little lug here, this little lug here, and a bolt there, and a bolt there. This is where your emergency brake bolts up on a hard top or a sedan. A convertible don't have this. A convertible's emergency brake is part of the X-frame. So what's happening is when I set this floor into that car, when it was beautiful, no dirt on it, no scratches, no nothing, I was sitting, you could even see the dot, I was sitting dead on the X-frame. It would not... This part and that part was sitting dead on the X-frame. It would not sat down, sit. It would not sit down on the, on the frame. So all this is right here, guys, is a friggin' hardtop floor they're trying to sell as a convertible. But, but look at this right here. Look at how this, look at how this whole area is really fat, and it's even got a little bump right here. Now look at the original off of a convertible. Look at how shallow that gets. I mean, it ain't even as wide as your finger right there. 
and then it even kind of tilts in a little bit as it goes forward. They did this to clear the X-frame. And it's the same way on this one. This is the other. I wish I wouldn't have cut them in half now. Uh, but see how shallow that is? I mean, it's not even the width of your finger. So what I'm going to have to do now, because this is all they sell for a, this is all they sell for a convertible. What I'm going to have to do now is cut this brace, probably because I want to get far enough over. You see, it comes all the way, almost all the way down to here, and then it starts it starts falling in. Okay, it's nice and and fat through here. And then it falls forward. So what I'm going to have to do is probably from here, I'm, what I'm probably going to do is just cut this straight across. And on this side, I'll take my cutoff wheel on top of these spot welds until it comes free. Because you see, I was going to try to to cut it and, and flatten this out. But the more I think about it, I'm just going to take from there to there out. And I'll just take this brace off of this one, that brace off of that one, clean them up real good, weld it back in the center. And I'll just put my original brace through there. So it's just a little rant. I mean, you know, guys, these cars are an arm and a leg for everything you buy for them. And uh, that floor wasn't cheap. Plus the time it took to go get it, the time I got invested, uh, taking the old floor out for you to discover that that's all that is is a hard top floor with these braces welded to it a convertible brace that whole center brace through there is for a convertible that's a hard top brace i mean just look at how look at how tall that stands up and you just seen my finger where it wasn't even wide enough for my finger on the other one that that makes all the difference in the world. It sits on your X it's it's sitting on your X frame in both of them spots on both sides up here too. That's why I told told everybody, you know, we was all excited, man, about ready to get this floor in here. And then I get it down in there and I knew I knew that it, it wasn't it wasn't gonna work. And I actually I actually did a lot of research on this today and everybody was telling me not they wasn't telling me like talking to me but all the research I did said this is the floor pan for a 55 to 57 Chevy convertible and it's not that brace right there will never that brace right there in the center will never let it sit down on the frame so now I gotta now I gotta cut it right there cut it right there and then scab my original brace back in there for a floor pan that cost probably 13, 12, 1300 bucks, plus all the work I got putting into the car. And the biggest thing that's got me concerned is that car sitting up where it's only suspended in the front and the back until I can get that brace cut out and the new one fitted in there and welded in there and get the floor back in it. So if you guys are part of the manufacturing for any of, uh, any of the restoration companies, Please help the help the guys that buy your parts out, please, because you know if that brace would have been the right one, that frame would have already been back underneath that car, and I'd have been fitting the floors to the body. But another roadblock. What are you gonna do? You know, if it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have no luck at all. But you know, here's a word of of warning warning if you got a 55 to 57 Chevy convertible fix that brace cut it out whatever you got to do to put the right correct brace in there because that floor will not it was probably this far away from the frame on both sides that's how high it was up off the frame and it would just teeter back and forth you know i'm surprised nobody's called them out before anyways i'm hoping and praying that that car could stay up like that until until i can get the floors in it i hope i can get the garage door down you know all right guys thanks for listening to my rant if you got a 55 to 57 chevy convertible and you're putting a one-piece floor pan in it make sure you pay attention to that center brace they're different and all the manufacturers are telling you that is the correct floor when it will not you cannot take that that 
straight from the manufacturer and bolt it to your frame. It will not work. It needs modification. Anyways, guys, you know I'm not going to stop. I'll be back at it tomorrow. Try to get that brace knocked out and get that get that floor to where it'll sit on there because I just I don't like that car being so far up in the air like that. All right, guys, catch you guys on the next video.